Hello Fleet fans, welcome to Fleet Vision. I'm Director of Athletics Mark Peeler and today we're celebrating a, a great experience on Saturday night as our Erskine men's soccer team won the Conference Carolina's regular season championship with a 2-1 overtime victory over Limestone. And we're here today with head men's soccer coach Warren Turner. And coach Turner, Saturday night in Due West was a pretty magical place. Uh, yeah, we'll certainly never forget it. Uh, and still having trouble coming back down to earth. Well, we don't want to come back down to early too early as we begin the tournament play on Tuesday. But talk about your team this season. Started with a really tough loss to Anderson at home and then um, has gradually improved to a point where playing as well as anybody in, the, in Division Two right now. Uh, yeah, it was uh, certainly the lowest point was at the very beginning, which uh, rarely do you see um, heights like this when, when you feel like that. Um, starting one and three and certainly the loss to Anderson was was brutal. Uh, so the credit to the players, they've had to, you know, they've had to wear that um, as the players and they've kept showing up to training every day, ready to get better. Well, let's talk about some of the players. Um, three seniors played their final regular season home games on Saturday night, PC Henry and John Rutter. And um, the one that we talked a lot about is Roberto De La Vina and what, what he's meant to our program the last four years. Well, it never hurts to have the most talented player on the field uh, at the most important position in the game on your team. Uh, it, it, what he's done for the results uh, by keeping the ball out is, you can't quantify uh, what it's done for us. Well, and Roberto, not only an incredible soccer goalie who we, who we believe um, should be a leading contender for Conference Carolina's Player of the Year, also an academic all-district nominee and academic All-American potentially for us this season. So great things from him. Um, the season's not over for the fleet. We, we, the conference regular season championship gives us the number one seed. Starting conference tournament play on Tuesday night. Um, you'll have home field advantage all the way through Sunday if, if, it, if it works that well for the fleet. So what are your thoughts as we, as we begin this week? We got to take care of Mount Olive first. Uh, they ended our season here last year uh, when they came in the first round. Um, so hopefully uh, for the returners, that won't have left. And we can, in the new guys that we're counting on, we can instill that urgency in them. Uh, you know, it, Coker was the one seed last year and lost to the eight seed in the first round. There is, there is absolutely nothing on the day that, that guarantees us advancement to the semifinal. And then one last question, Coach Turner, I had more than just winning the, winning the regular season title on Saturday night. This was, a, this was an electric place on Saturday night. And can you speak about the, the environment, the crowd? Um, just a great night to be in Due West. Our fans have uh, just been awesome. Um, you know, I think our, our, our players promoting the season and our product to the school has helped. Um, kick off some awareness, but the students, uh, they followed through. Uh, it, it cannot go without being mentioned. It, it, has, it had to drive the players. Um, when the going was tough and we were pinned back for long parts of that game, they were, uh, you, could hear, you could hear them all from, from where we were standing. It was just, it, it pushed, the, it drove the players for long portions of the game when we were up against it. Yeah. Well, it was. It was an exciting night in Due West, and we're looking forward to another exciting night tomorrow night. On Tuesday, 7 o'clock, as Erskine opens Conference Carolina's tournament action at 7 p.m. versus Mount Olive, um, with a chance to advance to the semifinals on Friday night, which would also be held in Due West. So we hope to see you out at the games, and we'll see you next week on Fleet Vision, and we hope we have even more good news. Go Fleet.